What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thought. <sighs> oh, my God. Back at it again. Hey. hey. I, I need to learn the rest of the words. That's all you know? That's, That's the all, only part you ever say. That's the only part I ever say. <laughs> what do you say? In the kitchen? In the, mm, mm. Exactly. Why are you yeah, trying to talk shit? I don't, shit? Know. I don't, I don't know. know. But I don't always be singing a song. Like you it. always sing it. I do because I really like Yellow Beezy. You I do? feel like he's a really good artist. Would you give him some pussy? Absolutely. <laughs> There's really not a lot of people I wouldn't give pussy to at this point. Let's just be honest here. I mean. I am so dead. What about his baby mama? She can come. <laughs> the fuck? The more the merrier. Let's she look. pregnant. So? Pitbull in the corner. He pregnant. <laughs> she pregnant. Who cares? Everybody pregnant. That's less work that I got to do. The more the merrier. But yeah, I would give yeah. him a busy, so I would definitely give him a little cuckoo. Oh, okay. Mm. So what's up? Little what's up, girl? girl? You know what? I just uh I'm I feel like I'm turning over a new leaf. Why do you feel like life. you're turning over a new leaf? You know what's going on, sis? I'm just I really feel like I've for the first time in a long time, I'm like focused on myself mm-hmm. and my growth. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I just I, I feel like I'm happier. Okay. You know, like I feel like That's um good. Because we always talk about dating BDBs. And a lot of y'all are new listeners. If y'all don't know what a BDB is, it's a big dick baller. Because I really be tired of y'all asking us in the comments. Well, no, I don't get tired because sometimes people are new listeners. You have to realize we've got an influx of a lot of new listeners. So they don't know. Do your research. No. So you can't be like that. Why I can't? That's like you opening up a Target and somebody walks in like, hey, where's the diapers? Do your research. Go, you, they you they go. got signs above the aisle that say diapers. But sometimes people need a little guidance. Do your research. No. See, this is why you don't have a job. <laughs> this is my job. I am. I'm gainfully employed. And, exa- and then you're being mean to the consumer. I'm not being mean. Do your research. No. We're First here. of all, oh my fucking God. You're just like the people, so fucking sensitive all the I time. I am sensitive. I clearly, because I was kidding. I know. Gosh, there, there. Oh, brother. There, there, oh, what you be saying? Oh, fucking brother. Oh, fucking brother. But no, um, I feel like we always talk about dating BDBs and shit, and I just feel like I'm just not focused on that right now. Like it's fun and it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just working on my self growth and mm-hmm. myself, and it just feels really good. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm just really happy. You like, are. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's like, of course, you know, I still got you know niggas doing what they supposed to do. Right now, we ain't gonna let them go completely. Of course not. But I just feel like everything is just kind of like about me right now. Mm-hmm. Everything is about me. Like sometimes. Sometimes I'll be so focused on dating and going out and doing this and doing that. Uh-huh. And honestly, it's just really about like self growth, poor minds, and me just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. So I yeah. agree. I'm just in I a mean, good that's, space. That's, that's a good. That's a good mindset to have. That is a good mindset. I'm not to have. Really... So you're not dating nobody right now. No, honestly, like of course, like I have friends that I text. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not. I'm really. I'm really not doing this right now. So who would you like break your man fast for? For with Khalifa. So if he's slid in your DMs, you would he's like, definitely getting some. You will be done. He's definitely getting some. You will be done with this fast. Absolutely. I love Wiz Khalifa. Okay. I really do. Like, really? I really, I have had a crush on him in a, for a very long time. So, Wiz. How long? Wiz, if you ever <laughs> see this, just know. I can love you better. And your friends will share it too. Well, you think there's nothing else you can do. I'm going to love you better. You know yeah. what song I thought you were about to sing? What? Mary J. Blige. To, this is hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you man. know I love when you do this fucking voice. Chill out. I'm trying to okay, get my hello. Okay, oh, this is for Wiz. This is hard to say. <laughs> I want to make sure I go about this in the right way. Because lately I've been busy a lot. And I know you don't feel appreciated and or whatnot. whatnot. Shout out to LL. That your hair look fly. Fly. <laughs> With the slow and still in your eyes. eyes. Girl, leave me laugh alone. Laugh together. Cry together. God, God willing, we, we gonna, gonna die, die together. together. It's a brand new me. A brand new you. Okay, a bitch, you about, about to sing. You about to sing the whole song? The sky Stop. so blue. <laughs> Bro, speaking of LL Cool oh. they was talking about him on 
on the timeline yesterday wow. on Twitter. Because somebody had uh, retweeted the song him and J-Lo did together. And they was like, pride is what you have. I mean, pride is what you have, baby girl. I'm what you have. That's a wild ass line. And I was like, when you really think about it, that is a wild ass yeah. line. Like, niggas been trash for a long time. Like, How you gonna tell me pride is what I had? Baby girl. But you what I have. Because he knows, like, you don't got no pride. You still fucking with me. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That was poor pussy management. Like, that we talked was- about Last poor pussy. week, <laughs> we told y'all about that poor pussy management. That though. was definitely poor pussy management. You know how bad. You know what? Though? What if a nigga told you that for real? And that's what I was about to say. <laughs> Niggas got so fucking bold. They know like some women are just so dumb behind good dick. They can say whatever the fuck they want to you and you're not yeah, going nowhere. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the point that we're at right now. That's why the poor girls and the poor boys, we be trying to educate y'all and put y'all on game. We be trying we to teach trying to the fucking, community. We got to restore order. We do. We have to fucking restore order. Because shit is order. fucked up. And shit is getting fucked up. These niggas been are getting fucked bold. Up. It's been fucked up. And what up, you honestly. mean they getting bold? They been bold, clearly. That song came out in 1963. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I was about to say who was in office, but I don't know no president. Who is it, what? Who was in office? Probably probably Bush. In 1963? Oh, bitch. I, well, I mean, it didn't really come out in Well, y'all know politics. That's why we talk about 19, sucking dick. But 1963, probably Kennedy, I think. Okay, that was a better I guess. I might be right. I might actually be I right. I know, that's what I'm saying. That was a better guess, but yeah, that's why we don't talk be. about... It, it was? was yeah! Check me out knowing my history. I didn't know nothing. I, that's why I stick to talking about... History used to be my favorite subject. Mm, oh. Before 6 e. All right. <laughs> Once I got to high school, it changed. Mm, you probably got all A's. And what? In the sex age. Oh, and our teacher was so fine. Shout out to him. I wonder what he doing these days. Would you give him some pussy? Not if he going bald. You don't like bald men? I don't like men that's going bald. I don't like bald men either, though. Because all my uncles bald, so they rem- they be giving me uncle tees. Like, they be reminding me of my uncles. Um, I could never date a man with a bald head. Never? No. I actually don't mind bald. Like, they were my, all, it's like, not- all of my uncles have been bald my whole life. All mm. four of my mom's brothers. Damn. Absolutely not. You know what that means. What? That's probably your future. No, it women ain't. go bald too. No. Yes, mm-hmm. the women do go. No, bald. No, I know that, but I'm saying not the women in my family. Most women in my family still have like very full. I'm gonna be checking hair. Barbara hairline next time I see you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> let me not. Let me stop playing. Well, with in, in her defense, <laughs> she's oh, always shit. had very fine hair. Okay. Very fine hair, right? Yeah, okay. my hair is really thick. Yeah. So. Well, you have fine hair too. It's just thick. Your hair is like. You have nice hair. I mean, yeah, but I, but like as far as like the density, my hair is thick though. Mm-hmm. So you know, my okay. mom has always had like fine a fine texture hair, mm-hmm. and her hair is just like it's, a, it's not she doesn't have a lot of density. It, right? Okay, I yeah. get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Well, shout out to Barb. Yeah, shout out to my mama. Okay, so let's get into these topics. Look, let me, and let let me correct myself because I said you had nice hair, and people what's nice hair? All oh, black yeah. people you know, have nice you know hair. They about to come I just for meant you. that she just she takes good care of her hair. That's all I meant. <laughs> no, I don't, want, I don't want no problems. We don't want no peace. Let we me be no politically beef. correct, okay? Um, but all yes, all women's hair is beautiful. Okay, mm, amen. So um, I'm gonna let you bring in the the first topic because I feel like you do this. Do you? I feel like you do this if a nigga <laughs> bitch, please. No, I feel like I don't do this ever. If a nigga is like breaking you off enough, I still don't do this. The fuck I look like? I'm a grown ass woman. Let's get into it. So, mm-hmm. I wanted to talk about asking for permission in relationships. Okay, you know what I mean. So, like, if you're in a relationship with somebody or if you're dating somebody. As two adults, do you feel like it ever makes any sense to have to ask your spouse or your significant other for permission to do things? You know what? As crazy as this sounds, it's more of I'm doing it to kind of like pump up your ego type thing. Like, am I really asking for permission? Probably not. But I know that makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you have some say so and like what I do. You know what I mean? So then what if they say no? Even if you, and you just asking just to pump up that ego, but they'd be like, no. Then it's going to be a fight. This is going to probably be an argument. But I feel like 
like most of the, I don't know. My relationships have been so different recently. I feel like the men that I deal with now, like they kind of know that I'm going to do what I want to do, but they just, they appreciate the fact that I'm asking or, or I'm telling them like, Hey, I really don't ask. I'm just like, Hey, I'm just letting you know, me and Dre are going to go do such and such tonight or something like that. So it's more like, oh, okay, babe. Yeah, that's cool. Like, thank you for letting me know type shit. Just hit me up when you're done. I just think it's just like a, um, I like men that are dominant. So if my man is like dominant, I feel like I like checking in though. It, this is if I'm in a relationship. I like to check in with my man. Let me tell y'all my problem free philosophy. <laughs> Almost same, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you saw my. It's hard to fight it, ain't it? <laughs> it's all problem free <laughs> philosophy. It was so I guess hard. I was to my own, right? <laughs> <laughs> did, did this bitch just call me a pig? No. You bigger than me, so you would have to be Pumbaa. I would be Simone. <laughs> Keep going, bitch. When I was a young I do. Okay, in my defense, I did say that on Twitter the other day. When I was a young warthog. Yes, I was like, man, when I was a young warthog, I used to love going outside. They was like, when well, you were a young warthog, when I was a young warthog, I was a young warthog. Oh, fuck. I swear to God, you I tweeted that. You want to fuck my makeup up. You I are swear. so annoying. Anyways, <laughs> man, how the fuck we even get on this topic? I hate you. You the one who said it's your problem-free philosophy. It is. So this is my problem-free free philosophy. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. What? Yes, I'd rather ask you for forgiveness. I'd rather go do what I want to do and then be like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you was going to be mad about that than to ask for permission. Why though? Because what what if, I'm not about to ask you for permission. Because if you say no, then it's really gonna be an argument. Because you're gonna be like, "Well, damn, bitch, what the fuck? You asked me, and I said no, and you still went and did the shit." I would rather just go do it, knowing you're gonna be mad. And then because I didn't ask and we didn't have a conversation about it, I could be like, "Dang, I'm so sorry. I did not know you was gonna be upset like I'm that." I'm fucking dead. That's manipulative. That's not nice. That's niggas not nice. Be, first of all, bitch, these niggas ain't nice. <laughs> They ain't fucking but nice. But you don't feel bad like no. that's a little manipulative. Ask these niggas do they feel bad. Okay. You so think niggas be feeling bad when they manipulate you? Me? Yes. I'm not the queen. <laughs> I was manipulated when I was a young warthog. Now I'm grown and niggas can't play me. I'm a grown pig. Period, Pumba. <laughs> Period, Pum. Fuck you. <laughs> No, okay, so like I said, for me, when I'm asking for permission, it's not necessarily like I really want a yes or a no answer. I just like the feeling of checking in with my man is kind of just like a, um, like I said, a dominating thing. But I feel like that's opening doors for problems. But because I feel when you ask people, they're just like when you ask somebody their opinion or just like when you ask anybody anything, right. you're leaving the door open for them to be like, no. I or agree to, with you, you know but also I mean? my relationships have always been like, if I'm asking you if I can go out with my friend, I've never dated a nigga that's like, no, you can't go out with your friends type shit. To be honest, I've never dated a nigga that I had to ask, could I go out well, with that's, my friend? Well, I'm not asking because I know he's going to say yes or no. Like I said, I'm asking because I just like that feeling of like I need permission, but I know I really don't because I know you're going to allow me to go out with my friends. I know you would never say, no, you can't go I'll out with I'll be dating friends. the type of niggas that if I ask them that, they'll be like, duh, what the fuck, go. I know. So one time I was <laughs> That's gonna... why I don't even ask. They're going to be like, why are you asking me? I'm not your daddy. Right. No, honestly, that's how Rapper Bay is. Because like I said, it's like a little role-playing thing for me, though. So I'm like, oh, You're a weirdo. Yeah. can I go out? He like, the fuck? I don't give a fuck. Just call me when you're on the way back. I was like, okay. This is no fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he does not play into that stuff. He's just like, I don't care. Like, you you want to take my truck? That's what he, that's right. how it was like last time when I was in Houston. I was like, oh, I was like, can I go to Dreams to see Jazz and blah, blah, blah. He was like, you can, like, yeah. Like, he was like, why are you asking me this? Like, it was like an awkward silence. Mm -hmm. And I was like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So some men just really aren't into that. They don't care. Yeah. You know, but honestly, I don't believe in... I, I feel like, don't get me wrong, when I'm dating somebody, it's certain things I just feel like, yeah, of course, I just know 
certain things are not okay to do. So I guess I could see why you said in the beginning, like you feel like maybe I, I do that to a certain extent. I don't ever ask niggas nothing, mm-hmm. though. I don't ever be like, oh, is it okay if I do this or not do that? I just feel like when you dating somebody and you have a certain level of respect for them, it's just certain stuff like that you, you already kind of know, know mm-hmm. that you just shouldn't do if you really fucking with somebody because you know they're going to have a problem with you. Right. You know what I mean? But to ask, actually like blatantly ask somebody, can I do something or is it okay if I do this? Hell no. I would never ask a nigga that. Like I said, especially if it's something I I really want to do whether mm-hmm. you want me to do it or not. I'm just gonna do the shit and, and be, be like, like I'm, I'm sorry. sorry later. And you know what? Go me, suck a little dick. You I'm know, dead. apologize. <laughs> do you feel like? Do you post like? Di- are your do your pictures change? What do you mean? Like whenever you're in a situation? Absolutely not. Because I feel like I'm I'm me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if you're gonna date me, you should. Get the real me. Mm-hmm. You should be comfortable with me being who I am. You right. know what I mean? And if you're not comfortable with me be, being who I am, then I shouldn't date you because I like po- I like posting pictures. Mm-hmm. And to me, I feel like only insecure men are bothered by their woman posting like pictures in bikinis and stuff like right. that. Because posting pictures in your bikini and stuff like that on Instagram isn't no indication of you about to be like cheating on your man or nothing like that well i'm not gonna lie the reason i ask because like when i'm single and i'm looking to catch something my pictures do get a little more risque they do they do you know what i'm saying i seen you yesterday carol baskin anyways but you was trying to catch some and i did oh you ain't even tell me I didn't. you know we be screenshotting and i mean I, I did it wasn't i mean my, who is it tell me he's slid in your dms already Oh, you sent that to me. Yeah, then. that's what I was like. Oh, yeah. This is like, whatever. But anyway, what else? What else? <laughs> but anyways, I just feel like, um, honestly, when I'm in a situation, my pictures do kind of change. Just because <clears throat> I'm still going to take sexy pictures. I'm still going to post, like, cute pictures and stuff. But I'm not so, like, provocative. Out, provocative. Because I be showing ass, booty hole, titties, all that you shit. You not be showing booty hole. I done showed a little booty hole, a little peek. Well, not the whole thing, but I'll turn around on the swimsuit. You see Show a little cheek. Bro? Show a little cheek, you know what I'm saying? But, like, the it picture. getting real cheeky. Yeah, but, like, honestly, when I'm in a relationship, I really don't be posting pictures like that. Like, because I wouldn't, I know, even when I'm talking to a nigga, like, when I posted that last picture, the OnlyFans picture, and I was like, psych, uh-huh. like, niggas was mad. You told me. Niggas was mad. Don't fucking post no picture that you sent me, blah, 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 type I shit. post whatever I want. I mean, I'm not in a relationship, but like if I was in a relationship, would I have posted that picture? No, I wouldn't have. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I guess I can, I guess I can agree with that to a certain extent. You know what I mean? But one thing about me, whether I'm fucking with a nigga or not, you going to get these thong bikini pics. Right. I mean, I feel like thong. That don't change. Well, like bikini pictures are a little different to me because like you can go on the beach and you can see me. In a thong bikini, like you can see me out in public with a thong bikini. They can on. go on your OnlyFans and see you in a thong. Uh, I don't have lingerie. an OnlyFans. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Why are you lying? Now people gonna be like, "What's the link? <laughs> What's the link, bitch?" Dre said you got one. We gonna name this episode "Sneaky Link." <laughs> so, but I'm not gonna lie, it was a it was a racy photo, but it was a cute photo. Like my hair was cute, my makeup was done, the lingerie was cute, but like. Would I post a lingerie pic when I'm in a relationship? No. I mean, I would never send my picture to a nigga and be like, oh, can I post this on Instagram? You know, you just, back to that's the what cop. I'm saying. Going back to so like kind of yeah. what I was saying, it's just certain stuff when you fucking with somebody that you, you just, yeah, know. I just already know. Like, I would never like be like, oh, can I post this on the gram type shit? Like, no, I know not to post this. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when I'm asking a nigga for, to do something, I'm not asking because I really want you to say yes or no. I already know, like, you, you're going to let me do it. It's you can't just, stop me. You got to let me. Right. But I just feel like it's a nice little, it's a cute little respect thing. And some men get that and they play into it. And some niggas just don't. And that kind of be making my pussy dry too. Yeah. Give me an Like if I'm asking you, just say, just yeah, role play with Just me. role play with it. God damn. That, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't fuck with these niggas now. You know what the fuck I be doing. I used to fuck with a nigga who used to, when I would drop pictures on, certain pictures on Instagram, he would be like, yeah, you fishing. Oh, I know who you was imitating. To, and I used to be like, yeah, how do you think I call like you? <laughs> and that's you crazy. Right. But you know, it's crazy because a nigga will, you'll pull a nigga off of the pics that you post. Mm-hmm. And then when, once you continue to post pictures like that, then they want to get mad. Mm-hmm. They got a problem well, with it. Well, he didn't really used to be mad because he used to laugh about it. Because yeah. he used to be like, I, I peep what you're doing. I'm dead. You've been cutting up on the gram lately. Have I? Yes, bro. How? You just been going Me? in. 
Yes, bitch. Yes. Me? You have. You have. What I been doing? You then? that Halloween picture you posted got so many likes and so many interactions. People was actually sending me messages like, damn bitch, where your Halloween costume at? <laughs> the fuck that gotta do with me? <laughs> they was yelling at me. I, I was trying to see Garfield. I, I was actually. I didn't you should have been a cat, though, for real. Honestly, that I was, been a good costume. I was forced to put on that bikini and take a picture because I felt the pressure. <laughs> they was like, "Damn, Lex, you ain't gonna trick or treat." <laughs> I was like, oh my God. "Hey, trick, I, here's a treat." I was in the. I was in the mirror crying, like, <laughs> "Girl, shut the fuck Taking up!" The, seriously, I was. I have been. I've been being consistent on Instagram lately. Consistently popping that pussy. No. Pictures in regular clothes too. I do, and they've been getting the same amount of likes. Now you lying? No, I'm really not. I'm really not. The the picture that I posted from Kiki's party. What Kiki's party? When we went to Kiki's birthday dinner, and I had on like that little. Oh yeah, that was cute. That yeah, was that picture cute. got like a lot of likes too. And I mean, the pictures that I took when I was with Jordan you know, in Houston last week. They didn't get likes like that ass picture guy. Sis, yes, they they still getting like twenty thousand likes. Oh, like, you had to throw that number out there. Tell me something. I'm just being honest. Oh, though. I feel like my, my pictures get likes whether I got clothes on or not. Mine don't. Yes, I, they do. If I take a selfie, they like, damn. I feel, but of course. <laughs> then I post that ass, they like, like. But of course, niggas Bitch, are horny. Want... And bitches too. Then bitches be horny too. Yeah, people so I, definitely be people horny. People are horny. So of course, obviously, if you post a picture in a pantsuit. <laughs> Not a pantsuit, bitch. What the fuck are we, Hillary Clinton? <laughs> if you post Who is posting pictures in pantsuits? Besides bitches Hillary Clinton. Bitches be wearing pantsuits. I'm going to buy you one for Christmas. <laughs> Bro, who is wearing a pantsuit, honestly? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna take you to get it tailored and everything. You're gonna be so fly. Anyways. <laughs> Period. But anyways, like I was saying, I feel like if, of course if you posting a picture like in a pantsuit. <laughs> Stop saying nobody is wearing a pantsuit, bro. People do be I seen somebody in a pantsuit yesterday. Okay. I swear to God. Okay, so. So what to God. Okay. So, so whether you post a picture and if you post <laughs> What are you laughing at? Because I hate when you do that with your fucking lip. You are so annoying. I'm trying but to... yeah, so obviously you posting a picture fully clothed. Let me say that. Thank you. Versus having on a swimsuit or a thong or whatever. Obviously the picture with the thong and swimsuit is going to get more. Duh, pictures. that's all I was saying. Morning. That's all I was saying, queen. Damn, you ain't have to hit me with the 20K likes. Niggas you don't. be getting that too. No, I do not. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Facts. No, I don't. Shit. Is this my Instagram like, page or yours? Mine is it's mine and yours. <laughs> Girl, what's get yours the fuck. is mine. Girl, get the fuck. What's yours is mine. Um, anyways. So Great. um asking for permission in a relationship, I think it's cute as long as it's not serious. I feel like now sometimes there are women that are definitely asking for permission, but it's because they have a controlling boyfriend. I do not like controlling niggas. I like niggas that let me kind of do what I want and be free. Like I said, it's more of a, a sexual kind of cute thing for me. But some women really do have to ask for permission. I like, yeah, I like to date guys that let me do my thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Period. Like, so could you ever see yourself like really dating somebody who's kind of controlling? Hell no. Mm. I feel like I've dated niggas that try to be controlling, but it don't never work. It never works out. It just never works. But I will, can, I will say this. A nigga cannot, I'm a hard person to control. Like, a nigga can't control me. But you know what I will and say? so I kind of make a nigga ease up a little bit before I allow him I to I think control you tried me. in one situation. You tried, but you just couldn't do it. Like, you tried to calm down a little bit and, like, you know, move accordingly. You know, but then I also had to realize that I'm just not who I'm just not who that person was looking for. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's and that's okay. That's all right. It's really okay. It's like if you have to try to change things about yourself or try to dim your light or be a little less outgoing and stuff like that to fuck with people, you just not for them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Y'all are just not compatible. And that's really like I said it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. Like it's an okay thing. And that's one thing I learned and, too cuz I've tried to be the girl that was just quiet and not, you know, you know. Just... And niggas like that. Some niggas like that. You know what I mean? A like, lot of men like that. That's that what, I'm not built for a lot of men. Like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like, it's niggas out there that's also gonna like 
how we are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? These niggas is going to be okay with that and okay with us being crazy and right. loud and loving to go out and talking right. shit on the show. And that's the type of person I want to date. I don't want to date nobody that I have to like center myself to date you. I know because it's so hard. Like, because you know that I tried to do that. You I did. really did. We both did. I feel like. I literally deleted all the pictures off my Instagram. I was like, let me start fresh. Let me take all these risque <laughs> pictures down. Let me just like shut up and tone it down. It lasted for like two weeks. I cannot shut up. Yeah. Like, I have to be like, if I don't say a word for like three minutes, I'm like, that's a dick. Like, I just can't hold it in. Like, I can't be, it, it's super hard for me to just be submissive to a guy all around. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess because I feel like before I just completely submit to a nigga, I will literally go make my own money and do yeah. my own thing. Like, I'm not about to submit to you so I can get certain shit out of you now, and feel, not be myself. But I feel like submission can be a good thing. If, as long as it's not, like, a manipulative, but that's what controlling I'm situation. Yeah. Like, I actually don't mind being submissive to my man, but not to a point to where, like, I'm a fucking slave yeah. and I don't have a life and no. I can't do nothing and I can't be who I am. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you can still have the type of personalities that we have mm-hmm. and do what we do and be the women in the forefront. And then behind closed doors, you can still be submissive to your man and still, you know, have a normal, healthy relationship. But you also have to date a guy that's okay with that. A lot of men are not okay with that. Like, if you're going to be dating them, they don't want you to be doing this. Right. You know what I mean? I think sometimes that's kind of where we struggle with with dating and finding somebody who is compatible for us because we be talking to BDBs. We be finding them. We be mm. dating them and stuff like that. But it's like everybody's not going to be okay with us being on this show, talking shit, sharing so much stuff about our personal lives right. and things that we've been through. And I think that that's where the problem comes in. Yeah. And so I feel like I've had to kind of try to find a balance between the two. And you know what's crazy? I think that's, for me, why one of the main reasons I always go back to Rapper Bay, too, Mm -hmm. is because he doesn't give a fuck. Like, he knows. He don't care about... I mean, he cares about the show. Like, he's proud of me. He Mm -hmm. supports me. But he's like, well, that's your thing. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Just do your thing and keep Mm -hmm. keep going. You know what I'm saying? And then he lets me be me. He knows my personality. He knows I'm crazy. He knows I'm loud. He just kind of lets me just do whatever. You know, and that's, I think that's why I keep going back to him. Not saying that we have a good relationship at all, but I think it's a comfort thing because I don't meet a lot of guys that are like, damn, this shit is lit. Most niggas that think I'm lit are just like people who like watch the show. Yeah. But actually, they, they be like, oh, I want a bitch like Lex P. Do you really? Do you really? Because you, really? are you ready for what come with Are this? you ready for what comes to that? Because I'm definitely like going to wake up the next morning and be like, oh my God, I sucked my man's dick last night. And they be like, oh, Lex P was talking about sucking your dick on the show yesterday. <laughs> right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just something that you got to deal with. Yeah. Like, you know? I mean, it's a part of our life at this point. Yeah. It kind of is what it is. So I just feel like, yeah, it's like I definitely just want to find somebody who's comfortable. With- and that's like, that and don't give so, a fuck. fuck but, it, but it's so hard to find, like, it BDBs is. like this. It really, it really, really is. Especially because they're so low-key. They don't like their business out there like that. I mean, I think that's why another reason, like, we've made it a point to always use nicknames and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, and I feel like that's why a lot of my situations, you know, that I've talked about on the show have lasted as long as they did because I tried to, like, protect the innocent mm-hmm. to a certain extent. But I'm not trying I mean? to be funny, but, but, like, even when, like, the time, like, you did name drop it, I mean, it was like, y'all didn't stop fucking around. <laughs> right. <laughs> it didn't do anything. It didn't. He it was didn't, still there. It didn't stop it. <laughs> but that, that kind of goes into, too, like, how niggas be trying to make it seem like, oh, I don't want you to talk about this, and I don't want you to talk about that. But sometimes I think niggas be liking they when we talk key. about them. They I really do. Because yeah, they didn't stop nothing. Bro, when I tell you when that uh, that clip, when we dropped that clip about me talking about the plan B, and you were like, was it worth it? And I was like, yes. Like, he was like, yeah, that shit was worth it, huh? <laughs> you didn't watch the show nigger yes I really feel like sometimes guys try to make it seem like oh I don't want you talking about me on the show I don't want you doing this and this and that but then once we do say something if we do say something it's it. good cause bitch you remember that nigga could not he would literally bring that shit up every chance he got bro anytime we said anything remotely we wouldn't even say his nickname and he would be like y'all talking about me <laughs> Are you a are you a poor boy at this point? Cause he you tuned in every Shout fucking out to week. The poor boy. He is like he's definitely tuned in. He probably watching this shit right. I know you talking about me still. <laughs> he probably tuned in right the fuck now. This shit dropping at midnight. <laughs> 
think a Patreon. I think I'm pretty sure he probably do got somebody that's like a Patreon member. Not trying to be funny, but for real. (laughs) (laughs) It's definitely a Patreon. Oh, you know what? I actually not being funny. I really think that he got somebody that's a Patreon member because when you dropped that episode with your ex, remember it was an issue about that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He's definitely a he got the top tier too. <laughs> he gonna he send an advice letter. He, fee, he paying the fifteen dollars a month, honey. I am dead. So good. So let us know how y'all feel about asking for permission in relationships. Did you see yourself being that type of girl? Do you like being submissive? And for men, I actually want to know how the men feel mm-hmm. about your girl asking permission. Like, do you like that, or do you feel like that's a little bit too controlling and right. weird for you? Okay. So this next topic I want to talk about is. Because because I saw a lot of this going on. Mm-hmm. Um, this actually happened to one of our close friends, uh, Mandy from uh, Horrible Decision. She actually got COVID and she was just like talking about it. And it was like the whole Twitter was like jumping on her back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I wanted to really talk about, I, I hate to use this term because it's not a real term, but kind of like quote unquote COVID shaming. Okay. Um, Because I feel like people are treating coronavirus like it's, a fucking like red A on your fucking chest or something like. I mean, they kind of is. But how? It's like, I mean, nobody wants to catch it. it. Well, I would say nobody wants to catch this shit, but everybody's still moving like they don't give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but I'll say this. Because Atlanta definitely is open. But I feel like this. Okay, so you have to realize that some people are still quarantining and doing what they have to do, protecting themselves, and they're still getting corona they're still getting covid some people are moving around and traveling doing what they're doing and they're catching covid either way it goes why are we shaming people for the decisions that they decide to make in this pandemic because i feel like this we've been covid shamed we have been covid shamed a lot but i'll say this every time i go out I wear protective gear. Yes. I when we I go wear a mask. at work, I ha- I have to go to my job. I gotta wear protective gear. But I'll say this: it's like until our government does what they have to do and shut the shit down, people are gonna be moving around. You but know you what know I'm saying? It's crazy too. Like I feel like we was we we got COVID shamed like when we had my birthday party right. back in April, right? Whatever, when quarantine kind of first started, but then we got shamed when we started doing the episodes with masks on, right? They're like, take the fucking mask like, What's the fucking point what's of wearing the point? masks? Right? But you know what's crazy though? In that setting, for my birthday, we was in the club and nobody said nothing to me. You know what it is though? I think people pick and choose who they want to COVID shame. Quote unquote. Cause let but me they t- shamed both of us for my birthday. Yeah, they did. But what I'm saying is they didn't say nothing to me on my birthday. Yeah. And I was actually in the club. And but- the same thing with Meg the Stallion. Everybody, Meg didn't even post nothing about Hottie Ween or whatever on her story or her page mm-hmm. because so many people were like, why is Meg outside? Why is Meg doing this? Why is Meg that? But in that same breath, y'all under, uh, so witty. Saw Wheaty pictures talking about, oh my God, you look so good. Oh my God, this is a fire costume, blah, blah, blah. And she was in the club too. No, no, no shame. I'm not shaming either one of these women, but what I'm saying is just because you like somebody, that's not fair to shame this person just because you don't like them. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't like Meg, but you like Sweetie. So you praise a Sweetie, but you shaming and Meg. And they're doing the same and, thing. And they're doing the same exact thing. And I think that is so corny. Like, why has this. Why has this, um, why has coronavirus become like a, oh my God, you have corona. Like, that's what you get. You deserve it because you were outside. Yeah. It's like, it's just become a weird elitist thing too. Like, I'm better than you because I get to work from home and I'm staying at home and you're a dumbass because you're going to pump your gas. Right. But that goes into the conversation that we had the other week. Like, people just love feeling above somebody. Like, they like Elitist. to shame. Eli- they, lo- they love to point their fingers and shame people. Y'all will find any reason to shame somebody. And at yeah. the end of the day, I understand. I want the I want all this stuff to end, too. I really do. But, like I said, I live in Atlanta, and the city is not shut down. I have to go to work. Yep. I don't have a choice to stay home. You know what and I'm saying? And, I mean, although we technically don't have to, like, go out or go places, Right, like go to like hookah bars and stuff like that when we go. It's just kind of like, but at the end of the day, if that's what we want to do, then goddamn mind your business. Yeah, and I guess some people's view on it's it is like, like, like we're, we're making it worse and we're spreading it and things like that. But which I do get that point. I of do view. get that point of view as well. I do get that point but of view. But at the same time, if you staying in the house, then you shouldn't be worried, right? 
That's how I feel too. It's like, like if this, you're staying at home since you care so much about what everybody else doing, that means that you probably staying in your house and you not going nowhere and you following all the precautionary measures and stuff. Right. So why you worry about what we doing? Right. And I and I that's why I said I think they're worried about what people are doing because it's prolonging this. It's prolonging the the pandemic or us. But it's just like at the same time, we live in a city that's just not shut down. Honestly. This is bad to say, but I really forget that we're in a pandemic sometimes because Atlanta is so fucking open. Yeah. And like I said, um, I don't go out, honestly. I yeah, really don't be going really out like that. We don't be going places, we be but going we have. Like but that. I'm being, I'm just but being we honest and transparent, out. you know, with the with the listeners. Like we have went to like a hookah bar maybe once or twice mm-hmm. in like the past, you know, few months or whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's realistic. At the same time, it's like people get tired of being in the house all day. Right, right. Like that shit is literally depressing. Right, and then I'm not gonna lie, like, but some of y'all, some of our listeners are living in cities that are completely like shut, shut down. down. So it's easy for you to stay home. Y'all have the option it's to stay home to, to work from home, like. Like, like I said, I don't have that option. You gotta I got to go, go to work. work. Like, we got to record the show. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, they'll complain about us being outside, but as soon as the, we couldn't drop an episode, y'all was like, y'all need to get in the studio. Mm-hmm. Y'all need, oh, y'all, you want us to go outside when you want us to go outside. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That but is that's true. Not, but that's baby, not, let us not drop an episode. Bro, let all us, hell gonna break loose. All fucking hell breaks loose. But I was like, it's, it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... I don't know. I just think it's really, really fucking weird that it's like a COVID shaming thing. And it's what makes it even more upsetting is like, like I said, Mandy being my friend, she was cool. She really didn't have any lot of symptoms. She just had it. But it was so weird to see people calling her a dumbass and be like, that's what you get. Uh, this hoe is so dumb. What do you think is going to happen when you go outside? It's like, why are y'all giving that type of reaction to so someone? So negative. There's so people nasty. there are there are people that are know that are sitting at home and they might go somewhere or they gotta go to work and they end up catching corona seal. Mm-hmm. Different you it's no I mean you only gotta come across one, one person one with person it. with it. It's not like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. There's people that Diamond has been outside every fucking day. Even when the pan when they like shut everything down, Diamond was like, no. <laughs> Diamond, Diamond never quarantined. Diamond, Diamond never quarantined once. And she hasn't gotten sick once. Yeah. Sometimes shit just happens. You can't control it. But to be like clapping your hands and praising when somebody gets it, I just That's think that y'all people are, are literally dying from this. Yeah, so why would you be why happy? Why would you be happy that somebody caught it? Like people were like, because you know Joe caught it now. Who? Joe Budden. Oh, he did. Yeah, and they oh, were I like trying to blame. You have it right now. Yeah. Yeah, they were trying to like, well, I don't know. Well, by the time this episode airs, he probably doesn't have it anymore. But they were like trying to blame Mandy for giving it to Joe. But it's like Mandy wasn't even at the show for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just a lo- it was just a lot of bullying I saw going on. And you know, we all know Mandy has tough skin. Right. So right. it wasn't an issue. But I was just like, damn, like y'all going hard. Yeah. Like, it's just so, like I said, people just love to be elitist about the weirdest 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 shit it is ever. crazy i just always be feeling like you know you should just worry about you yeah i feel like and the world would be the a world would be place. a better place if people just worried about their self and their self only right you know what i mean like me i be worried and focused on me not catching coronavirus right i don't be worried and focused about what everybody else is doing and I'll say this, but like I said, I think the reason a lot of people are saying that is just because, you know, well, you could of course be spreading it. I mean, and I but, know that, but, but... But this is another thing people have to realize. The world is changed forever. Yeah. Even once they find the vaccine and stuff, we're Wearing still... Wearing masks Masks normal. are still going to be a requirement. It's going to be like a part of our everyday life. So at this point, we need to adapt and adjust and figure out how we can fucking live. Mm. Like, y'all want us to just be locked up forever? They want you know us to be saying? hermits. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, some of y'all, like I said, some of y'all have the option to stay home. But at this point, we got to adapt and adjust and figure out what the fuck we can do to still keep life pushing. Don't slide in my DMs telling me nothing about being outside because of coronavirus. I'm you know what I thought? Ass. I really thought they was going to get on our ass for that, about doing the meetup. I thought people were going to say, but nobody said nothing to us about That's it. That's fine. They could have blocks. I'm dead. So, yeah, but honestly, like I said, I'm not trying to be uh, insensitive to anybody who has corona, who has caught corona, or anybody who has had, you know, a death in their family or friend situation. Yeah, I mean, my dad not, caught 
Yeah. Kind of it. I talked about that on the show. It's mm-hmm. definitely something that we for we definitely know people are catching it. I definitely know people are getting sick from it and stuff like that. But at the same time, you got to let people do what the fuck they want to do. Mm. Stop being annoying and like trying to reprimand people for living their life how they see fit. Mm-hmm. People, the girls are getting leave weird. Leave people the hell alone. It's getting scary. It's scary hours. Scary hours for real. Mm-hmm. But I learned, like I said, when I was a young warthog, my mother told me, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. So what, your mom was an old warthog? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell my she, mama. I you going to tell her. I'm about to text her right now. <laughs> Jeray on Poor Mind calling you a warthog. You, I asked. I did not call her that I asked. I said, so does, if you a young warthog, does that mean that she an Fuck old you. Warthog? I can't wait to tell Annie. I love your mama. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Hey, mama. Anyways, so let us know how y'all feel about the quote unquote. I hate to use that term, COVID shaming, because people are like, what is COVID shaming? I feel like they about to go in on us about this. Cause you know how you the know, people I don't are. Care. Well, it's all right. Neither do you, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> y'all just leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so let us know how y'all feel about that. Now we about to get into the bed. Hey. The bed. Hey. So I'm so excited because we about to really record the bed song. We found a producer and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, went, we ain't supposed to tell them that. We were supposed to drop it. I know, but I can't. I, you can't hold it in. Because I'm going to be singing on that joint, bro. I'm about to be, I'm about to go in there and sing my ass off. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking that like, I'm what are you? To... How, how do you think you're going to get or jump on the track? Because I need to know how I need to come. Well, see, I don't know because I feel like there's going to be the bed and it's going to be the bed remix. We doing a remix too? I'm already planning for remixes. We're going to have the bed album. Oh, okay. Then we gonna have When we drop the second mixtape, it's going to talk about getting out the bed. You know, you know how little baby got hard, harder than hard, harder than ever. We gonna have getting into the bed, getting out the bed, getting out the bed, and then making the bed. You you see, you see the vision? No, I got a new bed. It's going down, bro. Girl, I'm, not even I'm you telling play. you, I'm telling you, the bed series is going down. Y'all just wait on I it. I cannot. What if the song blow up? I'm going to be performing that motherfucker. We're going to get into the bed. Hey, the bed. Hey. I can't wait to I'm perform. Like we really got to sing it, though. We can't just be like, the bed. Hey. Oh, the I bed. can sing. You the one that need to work. I can sing, too. The fuck? Um, Don't be sleeping on me. I got skills. We know our lanes. Just stay in yours. My vocals is hard. Harder than hard. Harder than hard. <laughs> okay, so anyways, <laughs> I wanted to talk about non-sexual turn-ons. Okay. I feel like this is something that actually you do actually very, very well. It's something that I've like recently like noticed, you know, like. Noticed with me? No, with myself. Like I try to make sure like, you know, it's a non-sexual, like doing things that are like non-sexual at all, but you might like, trying to, you know, turn a nigga on, make sure, you know, you looking sexy at all times. I think you naturally do this though. Like, like give me an example. Like, just like what you did just now, moving the water bottle, you're like. Girl! That's how you drink your no, water! I'm trying to get these little beady bees off of Not the be- No, okay, but honestly, I, don't know what I just is. feel like it's like little stuff, like the way you walk, the way you talk, like, even if I'm, like, having a conversation with somebody, um, and we're having a normal conversation, if I'm, like, trying to flirt with a guy, guys love to be touched, or they mm-hmm. like to feel like they're being funny. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, when a guy is, like, telling a joke and it's really not that funny, be like, oh my god, they be like, yeah, you like that, huh, bitch? <laughs> Nigga, I'm funny, huh? Like, they do. They like that shit. Like, when you touch on you a man. so annoying. But I'm saying that's like a non-sexual right. thing. Like, it's like you're not like sucking his dick or sticking your tongue down his throat. But it's things that Sometimes like. Sometimes it's in the eyes. Too. It's in the eyes. Let me tell y'all. The I mo- love to give a good gaze. The best. That's one. Of, I'm glad you said that. The best non-sexual turn on for me as far as like talking to a man is like looking dead in their eyes. Mm-hmm. Like, staring into their eyes. They love that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm looking what, into your eyes. What is the saying? You look into somebody's eyes and see their soul or something. Snatch they soul. Snatch they soul. Whatever. But I feel like whenever you're talking, whenever you're having a conversation with a man, definitely look into his eyes. We're, we're giving y'all tips now on how to catch a man. And when you look into his eyes, make sure if you got a lazy eye, don't let that hoe drift off now. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You know, some people got lazy eyes. You got to focus, bitch. You got to oh focus. No, some people, I'm not making fun yes, of Yes, you are. Look at how you just looked away. I was trying to make sure that they focus. That's all I'm saying. Like, looking into somebody's <laughs> eyes is a big fucking deal. You got to look and you got to mean it. But don't be, like, weird about it. Like, don't be like. Or like this. Yeah. You got to just, you know, have a conversation. Yeah. You know what? Oh. Bro, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> you know, I had a conversation with one of my niggas, one of my old niggas. One of them? I, that came out wrong. <laughs> I was having a conversation with him, and he was like, you know, I watched your show, and he was like, when you talk to Drea, like, you really be looking in her eyes, but that's how I talk yeah. to people. He was like, I cannot talk to people and look into their eyes like that. It makes them feel uncomfortable, but I feel like whenever you're looking into somebody's eyes, they get more vulnerable with the conversation because that means I'm really engaged with you yeah. and I'm really talking. A lot of times men feel like they can't be vulnerable with women. Women don't listen to them or they don't feel comfortable because they feel like they have to be a manly man. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing about having a good conversation is listening. Uh, but the people that you're going to have the best conversation with are good listeners. So being a good listener, you got to look in the eyes, baby. You do got to look in the eyes. You got to look in the eyes. Sometimes I be having to look away, though. Why? Like, I will look in people's eyes and talk to them, but then occasionally I be just having to look away. Because it get I, it does get awkward. It be like, damn, what the fuck? Now, if I'm drunk and I, you fine, I'm definitely going to be like, all in really? your face. I love to look in people's eyes. Like I can, I can sit there and talk to a nigga and be looking at his eyes all fucking day. Like really? Mm-hmm. It be cool for a while, but like I said, after a while, it get a little awkward to me. What are some other non-sexual turn-on things that you do? I think the way you walk is a good example. You have you a little, so? you have a little sway in your hips when you walk. Mm. I, I could agree with that. Mm -hmm. I could agree with that. Um. I know that, like, when I'm in heels, nigga, I'll be, I be walking like, <laughs> niggas hear me coming from a you mile away. I do. Like I that. walk hard. But when I put my heels on, I definitely walk different in heels. put some heels on. I definitely put the heels work it, on. Mm -hmm. So I definitely, I notice, like, when I put heels on, I definitely try to put a little more sway in my hips when I walk. It just be little stuff I feel like. When I walk somewhere, I definitely make sure I walk with my head up, my shoulders back, you know, got my little purse, and I'm just kind of swaying. Maybe I'm on my phone, like, you know. Yeah, I think I'm just very flirty mm -hmm. in general. I feel like confidence, like your body language. That's yeah, what I, I want to say. Yeah, I, I think I do, like, have very, I'm, I, I guess, like, kind of exude confidence or whatever mm -hmm. to a certain extent. And then I think, yeah, I'm just flirty. Mm -hmm. Like, so I like to, like, make the conversations fun and mm -hmm. stuff and lighthearted with guys. And I feel like they just always like that. And it's like real playful, you know. Mm -hmm. So you know what else I do? What? This is probably gonna be kind of weird. What? Like sometimes, like if I'm like talking to a guy, and I just sometimes I just I'm very touchy feely. First of all, I'm super yeah. touchy feely. So like sometimes I'll be having a conversation with a guy, and we're like really close, and I'll just be like pretend like he got something in his hand, and he don't, and he don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick out a, a pretend lint. And he was like, oh, thank you, baby. I'm like, I got you, You welcome, boo. boo. <laughs> I got you. I don't want you out here I looking got crazy. You. <laughs> and it works every time. They be like, hmm. sometimes I go like this. You do? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. Because I was about to say, if I was a nigga, I'd be like, what the fuck wrong with this bitch? <laughs> okay, I'm lying. <laughs> okay, I'm lying. But still, I feel like little things like, you know, I'm not necessarily like, you know, rubbing yeah. on you or touching on you. But it's just like. It's the gest gesture of me touching you, but mm -hmm. also me being, like, helpful. Like, you know? So, so what are, like, some non-sexual things that a man does that turns you on? Give me money. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Take me to the bank. that, though. Um, honestly, like, non-sexual things that, like, turn me on. I feel like I love, this is very weird, but, like, when I see, like, a man, like, get out the shower and he's, like, it has like a skincare routine. Oh, and yeah. he's like in the mirror, like doing his face stuff and doing. I'm like, damn. We love men with good. I hygiene. love men that get out the shower. They do their whole like. I think that is just so like. I'd be like, damn, you really wipe your ass good. I know you wipe your ass good. That's how you can tell if a nigga wipe his ass good. If, if a he have a routine. If a nigga takes the time to get out blackheads out of his nose, you know he wipe his ass good. Nah, that's true. That's very most true. most niggas don't even look, put lotion on. Ooh, I remember I was fucking with this nigga. I used to have to lotion him down. Ooh, I used to go between his toes <laughs> like I did. this. You told me. I used to lotion his feet. 
Niggas said, I, a nigga said, um. <laughs> Why are we Twitter, both over here talking about some? A nigga on Twitter said that he don't put lotion on his ass because that's gay. So it's just ashy? Just that ashy. That shit probably all crazy. That's why up. I said, I know when you get off the bed, you leave a chalk outline. Ooh. There ain't no fucking way. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Why would you not lotion your booty? I feel like sometimes men are just so homophobic and they just do weird shit like. But it's your own ass. <laughs> He probably isn't going like how you homo- your ass. how how is that homosexual touching your own? I ass? don't know, bro. But men are fucking crazy. But like I ain't never heard that. Before. That's something like non sexual that I really like. I love men that have like a good skincare routine and um, I don't know like when especially like if I've been dating somebody for a while um, and I like when like men like let's go hang out. I'm gonna come pick you up. Because usually people aren't picking oh, people up. Oh, I love up. when a nigga come pick me up. Niggas don't pick pick people up no more. I want you to meet them at the that, restaurant. Honestly, they'll either send you an Uber mm-hmm. or you they can just meet you up there type yeah. shit. So when niggas like really be like, hey, I'm going to come pick you up at 7, <laughs> this pussy is ready. I'll be ready at 6 30. You know what I'm saying? It's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. Oh, yeah. I got a real pretty, pretty little fine that's waiting for me. See? And do. Oh, okay. <laughs> See how you mess up the moment? <laughs> God damn. So let us know what are some non-sexual turn-ons that y'all like. Yeah. I love a good non-sexual turn-on. I feel like because it makes, when y'all actually get into the sex act, it makes it more intense. Like, you're low-key, like, building up to that moment without even I'm doing it on think, purpose. I love when niggas smell good. Oh, yeah. I love when That's a man smells good. That's a sexual turn on. Yeah, it definitely is. Like, mm. when, I like when niggas have, like, specific scents, too. I really don't like men that switch up their cologne a lot. Like, I like to identify you by one scent. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite scent? I don't fucking know. All you don't have a favorite smell. scent on a man? No. Just, I, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I okay. like when I smell it, I'm you like, yeah. Ooh, this so you need like. to find out next time you smell it. But you know, that. niggas don't like to tell you what they wearing unless you buy it. Really? For them. Yeah. I've never experienced that. I have. Niggas be like, no, you want to buy it for the next nigga? Like, we, th- now, I, every time I ask a nigga what he got, oh, now I gotta come to your house and go through your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck? Cool. Guess that's okay. what we on. So now we gonna get into the bop. Hey. The bop. Hey. The bop. bop. What's your bop? What's yours? Bitch, I don't think I got I gotta one. I pull mine up. Dang, you ain't even giving me no time to get ready. Mm. Okay, so um, I was actually put on this uh, what is it called? Um, an EP. This EP is actually came out in 2017. It's not new. Mm-hmm. But um, this guy's his name is Molly. Mm-hmm. It's like an R and B soul. So he has a song called "Love by You" featuring Jasmine Sullivan, and y'all know I'm a Jasmine Sullivan stan. Okay, baby can sing down. So she um, sings down. She does sing down, and it's just so crazy because there's so many good R and B artists that just aren't getting the recognition that they deserve. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I feel like he's been out for a while, and people just not they not catching on quick enough for my life. And what did you say his name is? Again? Molly. M A L I. And the song is called Love By You featuring Jasmine Sullivan. And y'all know. Oh, we love us some Jasmine. Love us some Jasmine Sullivan. Like, the talent is crazy. But when you think about it. Her voice is just. That's, this is kind of off topic. But it's so amazing. crazy how somebody can be so talented. But there's people that she can sing under the table that are outselling her. And it just makes no sense to me. Because not only can she I mean, sing. But let's be real. We know how the industry works. Yeah, but she can. It's a lot of politics. But her, that, But it's not even that. I mean, I've seen like women that can, or men that can sing really, really good, but their music is not good. Jasmine Sullivan actually has fire fucking music. Yeah. So it's not clicking and making the sense. Because even the last song that came out. Um, what? What was that oh, song? Oh, the one that, that came out. Um, like a few weeks ago that mm-hmm. we had for our Bop of the Week. What's it called? Uh, Lost One. Lost One is such a fire song. I just don't understand why this is not getting played everywhere. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, it just be stuff like that. Like, I just be so confused. But, yeah, um, my bop of the week is Molly Loved By You featuring Jasmine Sullivan. Okay. So, Ty Dolla Sign got this song called Spicy. 
I, did you listen spicy. to his whole album? I haven't listened to the whole album. Okay. But I ended up listening to that song just because it was like on my suggested new tracks mm -hmm. on a uh, title or mm -hmm. whatever. So I actually like it. It's featuring Post Malone. But I do need to go listen to, I know. I don't really, I can't but get But I like Post the song. Malone. Okay, okay. It's, it's, a good, it's like a little catchy little song. Well, see, the so, thing, my thing with Ty Dolla Sign is I tend to like his features better than his own songs. Yeah, I mean, I like the expensive song too, though with Nicki Minaj. Okay, I that's on that to album, album too. Oh, you haven't, but you haven't listened to that song. I think it's a single. Oh, my nipple done fell out. That's it did. Song. I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all saw your award haul. This titty. episode is not getting monetized. <laughs> okay, but no, I feel like um, I mo, I more so like his features. That's why I haven't listened to the album. I haven't taken the time out to really listen to the album, to be honest. He got a song on here called Doctor CB. <sighs> I thought his name was Dr. Sebi. Well, Dr. Sebi, whatever. I'm dead. Do you know who Dr. Sebi is? Yes, bitch, I know who it is. But at the same time, sometimes I don't be pronouncing shit right. Neither do you. I don't. I just Give just, a bitch a break. I didn't know if you knew who he was. <laughs> I was just making sure. Bitch, why would I not know who he is? You know I be trying to be fake healthy. <laughs> You know I be wanting to be fake vegan so bad. Y'all, every Dre gets on my fucking nerves. Dre will have a whole night of smoking hookah, drinking Don Julio. This should wake up like y'all. This is the CMOS that I just ordered, <laughs> and um, I take this with my uh, green alkaline aloe, water my, only and my green aloe. and I put chlorophyll drops in my water. Girl, I be like, I'm a fucking take, brother. And I take my black elderberry syrup every day and my black. I mean, not yeah, and my black seed oil. Oh, Shaw fucking do, brother. And my probiotics. I got a whole list of stuff I take every morning. Did you include the nut you be swallowing on there? I don't swallow nut every day. <laughs> I'm talking about my everyday regimen. <laughs> <laughs> I only do that a few times a week. Okay, okay. You got to get that in shorter doses. <laughs> but oh, <yeah>. shit. <laughs> okay, but I get Okay. Okay. But yes. Yeah, so. I'm glad you know who he is. I wasn't yes, trying to play you. You queen. was. Yes, you was. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, okay. I'm a little hot tip. Oh, all right. See, I'm I don't like that. We're gonna stop using the word hotel. You use it more than me. Because I am a woke sister. <laughs> so the first thing y'all gonna realize is I'm here for the black advancement. Okay? We're gonna get to where we need to go on the back of the white man. Period. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Miss Umar. <laughs> That's you know, this is how you know when you preach it. To make people think that you know what you're talking about, you gotta project. You got, you got to talk slow and chop the words and up and project because people feel like this sister know what she's talking about. So and when you, you got your dashiki on today, so, <laughs> so when I talk like this, if you have this clip on you. They're going to be like, I can't wait to get home and listen to what she's talking about. Because I know she's saying something important. And you ain't talking about shit. And I'm not saying shit. <laughs> but go suck that nigga dick. <laughs> you see how I did that, though? That's all. That's what they be doing on Red Table Talk. Oh, my God. Would you still listen to that? Yeah, it's a good show, but sometimes Jada don't be really saying nothing. She just talks real soft and slow. After that, <laughs> um, well, I was about to say Idris Elba. What the fuck? I mean, August Elsina. After that August Elsina shit, I cannot listen to this show no more. I just can't. Why? I just can't, bro. I can't. Because it's like, Jada, you be getting down like the rest of <laughs> yes, us. Yes, I just Stop cannot. Stop trying to play. I cannot play with her at all. But no, but we love it. We I love I'm dead, bitch. So uh, they just dropped it on Netflix. I know. I think I'm gonna watch that tonight. Why? Why not? I just tweeted about that the other day. Why? The movie is terrible. Oh, you know what? I I haven't seen it in so long. I watched Boomerang the other day. It was so good. Yeah, Boomerang is like oh the best classic black film. Like a a rom com. I love okay, it. that's you know that's like my favorite movie. Oh, it is. No, I was saying like, oh, that's cute. Girl, fuck you. Jesus, tough crowd. Anyways, let's get into the motherfucking question. Oh, we're here at the question. I think so. Ain't that what's next? That's what about. I don't know. I feel like it's just a big blur at this <laughs> I point. Think, well, you ain't even drunk today. I, I think I, I feel like I'm still you high on drunk lights. from last night. I drank so much last night for no reason. You didn't even drink that much. First of all, when I left here, I was oh, still you drunk drinking. Again. See, you in my business. Don't do that. So, and I peeped your tweets. You was drinking before we came. 
see how you why are you put my business out there? You was just drink. You put it out there. I just said I read your tweets. Anyways, if you want your question answered on the show, <laughs> make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. That's A S K P O U R M I N D S at gmail.com. Please keep it to a paragraph if you can. Thank you. So go ahead, Drea. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, you don't want to yeah, read it? Yeah, no, I'll read it. I'm dead. I was just trying to make sure I was going to this the one, right one, yeah. right? So, hey, ladies. First, I would like to say that I love, love, love you both. But I definitely see myself in the hot shit that I be on in Lex, LOL. So, my name is Lily, and I'm 26. I recently met this guy on this guy online, and he's 30. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Ooh, okay, And baby. he's for sure a BDB. So, we went out a few times, had deep conversations and whatnot. He gave me a good vibe and really expressed his feelings about me. We had sex on our second date, and it was the bomb. But now we're kind of in a dry place. He's not giving me the same vibe. He seems like a good guy, but I'm not sure. I asked him directly about his feelings via text message. I need some advice. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to attach the screenshot. Okay. So Did you read the screenshot? I'm going to read it. So she sent him a message that said, I'm just going to go ahead and ask since it's on my mind and I need to know, are you more so wanting a friend, a friend with benefits or something serious? I'm asking because I need to know how to deal with you. No pressure, but I think we should establish each other's intentions, which is fair. And he responded right now. I want to learn each other and continue to grow and grow from there. Just because I get crazy busy like today been crazy. Um, <laughs> I feel like this. Oh, excuse me. To me, when a guy says something like that, he's not looking for nothing serious. Because if he wanted yeah. you, he would have been like, no, my bad. Today's just been busy. But I definitely want us to spend more time and get to know each other. He's like, oh, we going to grow. I just want to see where it goes. That's because he got the pussy already. Yeah. So, unfortunately, it's kind of like guys say so much and when they can really just be honest but obviously i don't think he's trying to hurt your feelings but it seemed like he wants like a friend with benefits type of situation yeah he just want to be able to keep fucking on you and doing his thing right so i mean you just gotta ask yourself if if that's what you want you cool with that girl and if not i would just let him. you know what i'm always say. move around then leave because that's what i feel like a lot of times Women say that we want guys to tell us the truth and what their intentions are. But a lot of times when a, if a guy told us their true intentions, we'd be like, oh, I'm not fucking with it. Right. So, so that's, that's why, why guys don't, tell, don't tell, the, tell us the truth because mm -hmm. a lot of women can't handle that. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, if he told you right now, yeah, I just want to be friends with benefits, you probably going to cut him off. Yeah, you that's wouldn't why, be fucking with it. That's why he's not going to tell you that he just wants to be friends with benefits. I don't think that that's fair because honestly, if a nigga told me, yeah, I want to be friends with benefits, as long as that includes some money, we can make it work, right. honey. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I feel like sometimes I'm I'm a different type of girl though. Like, you know, I just be moving how I want to move and I kind of have I'm more free spirit when it comes to stuff like that. So I just feel like he kind of pretty much told you what he wants. When a guy wants you like you that, know. as far as being serious, when he wants you like that, he's gonna let it be known. And he's mm -hmm. not gonna shy away from that. Like when niggas want you, they be like, I want you. Yeah. I want you to myself. Like, they gonna let that shit be Ooh, known. Oh, no, that's right, Lex P. Somebody done told you that. Girl, I told you. I told you. I said it on the show. How Rapper Bay was putting that pressure on me. I know, that's fucking right. He better put the pressure on. Girl, he better leave me alone. I seen her too with her legs. She got the legs pee poles now. Babe. She sure do. <laughs> and you're a beautiful girl, yeah, so. You are. If that's what you want, cool. But if that's not. If that's something that you want, cool. But. Like the friends with benefits type thing, then go ahead. But if friends with benefits is not what you want, I wouldn't fuck with him because yeah. he he wants to be friends with benefits. Like he still wants to fuck on you, maybe take you on some dates and stuff. But like I said, Keep make sure yeah, make sure that you getting out the situation what you want out the situation. You know what I'm saying? That's always our main thing. Just yeah. making sure that y'all get what y'all want out of the situation. Mm -hmm. Don't just be giving these niggas what they want. Exactly. Period. Okay, so let me move on to the next one. This says, "Hey y'all, please." keep me anonymous or you can call me big l Ooh. lol i know that's right queen i know there's a little backup on letters the universe may solve my problem before y'all get to me but still <laughs> at least she knows at least you know <laughs> sis i'm sorry i'm sorry this was sent like when we first started the show September 22nd. <laughs> I bet. so I just got a new boo and he seems to be a BDB Ooh, I've been praying so I hope for success but the only thing I <laughs> why have why did you read it like cause she said ooh I've been praying that's what it say <laughs> it says four O's 
Ooh. <laughs> but the only thing is, I have been seeing this boy local to where I live, and we have been going steady for maybe seven months. He's chill, but we're the same age. 26 and I'm 25, turned 26 in November. And he's just at that growth growth phase where he's trying to level himself up to be in a better position. So I understand him not being able to do all the things I want to do all the time because I'm doing the same thing with myself. But the new bay was on top was on my type wait. Oh, okay. I see. Sorry. But the new bay was on my type of time the first day. We went on an amazing date in the city. He lives about two hours from me. I spent the night and we had sex. He sent me home with some cash for my commute mm -hmm. and we are still talking consistently, making plans for the week. So local bay has outstanding D and new B and new bay D is okay, but everything else can make up for it. I don't know if I'm ready to cut off local bay, but juggling two niggas makes me nervous. I like new bay and I want to see where things will go. Not to mention, he's been on me since about February this year, and I'm giving him a chance now. I try to keep this as short as possible. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. So what you think? I will talk to both of them. I mean, right, I you're know, single. I know that you said it make you nervous, but I mean. But why? Why? You got to realize. Most long of as they don't know each other, long as you being safe. I don't see the issue. Like Lex said, you're single. You're single. You're supposed to be dating. I think a lot of women need to realize this, especially when you're in your 20s. I'm in my 30s and I'm still doing this shit. I'm dating until I find exactly what I right. want in a man. And it's okay to date it's multiple okay people. It's okay to date multiple people. People act like it's fucking the end of the world if you're dating multiple people. If you can handle that and you have to be okay with possibly them doing the same thing, because most likely... Possibly. Let me tell you something. New Bay and Local Bay dating other people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't want to say that because we don't know them, but Bitch, nine times out of you, ten... We have to be... Y'all know I'm going to be blunt with you and be real. Right. They're both dating other people. What right. nigga you know dating one bitch? Even <laughs> niggas that's married ain't dating one bitch. <gasps> I'm dead. <laughs> I was about to say, not mine. <laughs> Even married niggas got more than one bitch. You right about that. So I would say you're single until you're tied down in a relationship. You don't know owe anything to anybody. So have fun. Figure out what you want. You're still young. You're only 26. Um, so yeah, yeah, date both of them. Just keep it lighthearted and keep it cool. I yes, think girl. It's, it's very easy to juggle niggas. Oh, like, we be having the cuties be right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I was already that's the next, at the next one? question. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, girl, just keep it cute. Keep, you know, dating both of them. I feel like I don't see no harm in it. Because obviously they both got different strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So best of both worlds. Okay, next question. My BDB ain't no free guilt. <laughs> <laughs> hey ladies keep me anonymous i love the show i heard about you from cocktails and have been hooked since i live for wednesdays so the tea or should i say the water i've <laughs> I'm dead. i've been involved with my bdb for almost four years and the sex is so eh. i make it fun for us the stork the stork is good as fuck but he's no freak doesn't eat pussy always wants me on top and comes quick mind you i'm 32 and he's 35 he complains i take too long to come but niggas just don't know but niggas just wait but niggas just don't know once you start the engine you gotta keep that motherfucker revved up mm -hmm. Meaning, after every 30 seconds we have to stop slow down or change position so he doesn't come i slow i go slow i meg the stallion the dick Ooh. suck it between <laughs> You a freak, girl. Stuck in between. I'm about to nut you. Bitch, Jeez. I'm dead. I know. You see, I'm over here stu stu stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm stuck it in between and anything else I can think of to make it last longer. I'm at the point of not wanting to interact with this because this man is getting a whole meal and I'm getting leftovers. I feel like I sexually intimidate him. I have communicated how important foreplay is so he can get a head start on making me come. And the last time we had sex, this nigga tried to finger me like he was digging for change at the bottom of a purse. Help. <laughs> I attach pics just because I know y'all see me in y'all comments 24-7. LOL. And you cute too. Yes, yeah, she is cute. Honestly, hey, girl. Uh, bad sex for me is a no. Is uh, especially when you're telling this man like you're you've told him you've told him and you and he hasn't changed mm -hmm. and he's not. You might just be a little more sexually advanced than him, and that's just that's just what it is. Yeah. Like sometimes you can't do shit about that. 
Like, I've had a partner where I was just, like, way more sexually advanced than him, and we had conversations, and no matter what, he just couldn't keep up. Yeah. Sometimes your pussy just be too good for <laughs> niggas, and they just can't handle it. That's true. Like, sometimes, like, I'm not trying I to be funny. Like, I'm not, yeah. Sometimes niggas just can't hang. Like, you, and he, it's levels to this shit. It is. And he's just not on your level, so it just. That's how you know you got that wop. You definitely got that wop, but you got to have a wop handler. Period. You know what I'm he's saying? not. A wop handler. He's definitely not a wop handler. He's not doing what the fuck needs so to be done. So what you think she should do? Should she stop talking to him? Well, she said he's a BDB and he does what he needs to do. I feel like you can still, you know, hang out with him and go have fun. But as far as, like, making him your main nigga, because that's what it seems like to me. Like, he's mm-hmm. your main nigga. You definitely need to start dating around to find his replacement, sis. Yeah. Because it sounds like It's time unhappy. to replace him. Yeah. Because, yeah, good, bad sex is just... It's just a no. Yeah. It's just a no for me. It's a no for me, too. So, good luck. My phone will stop working. Okay. Is this the next one? hmm Is it... Did you read that one or did I? I just read that. No, I read it. What are you talking about? Uh, I just read that. Is this the last one? No, this is the third one. Oh, fucking brother! I'm just playing. <laughs> Put it on a make them on a marry me. That's what I'm saying. I know. <laughs> Put them on a make them on a marry me. Why did Rashida do that? Rashida, sis. And this is what Beyonce did. Okay, but that's Beyonce. We talking about Rashida. I think she did that Fuck too. around with no man who won't eat her. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> she got a ring too. Who? Rashida. I'm at, but I'm talking about the song. Like, why would she do that? Kirk was in the car like, First yeah. thing first, I sheet her. Fuck around with <laughs> no man that won't eat her. I know that's right. Okay. Hey, Lex we and Jerome. put that in our bio. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck around with no man that won't eat her. You're an, you're all right. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. Oh, the poor mind <laughs> Get away from me. Hey, Lex Andrea. I found your pod <laughs> through Joe Button Podcast. Ooh. Y'all know when Harriet used to walk down the stairs on Family Matters. <laughs> They did not used to do that for Harry. Yes, they did. They used to do that for uh, Laura. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Why you said they didn't do that for Harry? They used to do that. Because <laughs> Harry, Harry was old. So she was still. nobody shaking for Harry and Carl. When, what was the grandma name? Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> when the grandma would put on her red lipstick, when she would put on her red lipstick, they would be like, ooh. <laughs> First and foremost, they used to do that on every fucking sitcom. <laughs> oh. They used to do that on every fucking show. Well, they, she said she found you from the Joe Budden podcast. So I, said, I thought she said she found us from, from the Joe Budden podcast. But you the only person that's been on the Joe Budden podcast. Are you done? Money bags. I think it's time for you to go ahead and read the question. Ooh. And I've been listening heavy ever since. I'm 30 years old and I've had a couple of BDBs under my belt, but I can never keep the nigga because my sex game is trash. <laughs> so why did you title the question? <laughs> what you? I'm so confused. Continue. Okay. She said, I can never keep the nigga because my sex game is trash. I'm a lazy fuck. I only like to lay on my back or get dog fucked. <laughs> I cannot ride dick. Can y'all give me some tips on how to be a better fuck? Because the next BDB I get, I'm trying to put them on and make them want to marry me. <laughs> and my Rashida voice. Or just advice on how to ride the dick. Bro. What do men like in bed other than head? I need help ASAP. From the west side with love. I don't want to say Not name. from the west side with love. Sis. First of all. You are a lazy fuck because that's what you're choosing to do. Yeah, it's like... Everything takes practice. You don't practice. even need advice from us. No, Watch but, some porn. Well, no, not even that. Everything takes practice. If you know you're a lazy fuck, get up and ride some dick, girl. Ride some dick. Or at least when you get a hit from the back, like, hold your ass cheeks open. Wear a booty plug. Something. Throw it back. Throw it. Are you throwing that pussy back? She probably not. When you, at least when the nigga on top, grab your legs and put them yes. behind your head. Do something. Get active. You know that you're just laying there on Rub your back. Rub on your pussy while he fucking you from the back. I mean, I can. Oh. You getting a little too detailed. Oops. <laughs> You got to carry it away. Hit it from the back. Swallow the nut. Lick the balls. Calm down. 
Okay, now you're taking shit too far. Am I? You, I cannot believe. If any of y'all ever want to take Dre out, just remember that she sucks niggas' toes, weirdo. I've only sucked two niggas' toes. <laughs> I thought you was about to say one. <laughs> No. <laughs> you are a sick bitch. Too. Anyway, so I feel like you know that you're being lazy in bed. So put it in your mind that, you know what? Today when I have sex, I'm going to ride some dick. And like Dre said, watch some porn. See what the porn girls are doing. Get some tips. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what you're doing. You're, you're actively choosing just to lay there in bed. Mm -hmm. Me, I cannot just lay there. I'm not saying there's... I mean, obviously, there's something wrong with it because you know you're lazy fuck. But it's like, if you know that you're being lazy, just be more active. Right. Do your research. Watch some porn. See what the porn girls are doing. Learn how to suck some dick. You know what I'm saying? When you are getting hit from the back, there's things that you should be doing. Right. You shouldn't just be ass up in the air getting fucked. You know what I'm saying? Why are you putting that arch in Because you, if you a lazy fuck, you probably be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if y'all are listening. Y'all obviously can't see what we doing. It's like when a cat. <laughs> oh my God. That is so ugly. That's what she probably be doing. That's why she can't keep a BDB. Oh man. Sis, you got to keep your BDB. So yeah, make sure you arch that back. I don't like that. Get up and ride some dig. Just get more active. Okay? Get on your tip tip toes. That's that's a little advanced. Is it? It is. For somebody who's not riding dick at all. I actually feel like it's easier to ride dick on your feet than it is on your knees. Um, unless you just got some good ass knees. I like to ride dick on my knees. I like to be on my feet because I like to hop. Won't you burn and hop with me? Hey. Da, 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 da. I'm fucking dead. I like to hop. All so right. yeah, okay. Next question. What to do? Let it go or keep trying? Hey, Lex P. Andrea, girl. Girl, girl, girl. Uh, now, you know goddamn well this question too long. She talk about, I've been seeing a man since I was, I'm going to try to read it quick. I've been seeing a man since I was 18. At the time, he was 28, and now he's 29. I'm 20. The very first older man I've ever dealt with, and he claims I'm the first young lady that he's dealt with. We've been at it about a year and a half, and anytime we get into it, he blames it on my age. I've never met any of his friends. We've been out on one day. Any other time that we hang out is to get food and back to my place or his. Recently, we got into it, and he decided to end things. I usually blow up his phone or do pop-ups. Please don't judge me. And we'll eventually get back on good terms and go back to our go back to our situationship. We usually communicate what triggered the argument and move forward. I'm beginning to wonder, could this just be something that's for him to do, or does he really care about me? It's been a year, and he tells me that he loves me, but his meaning is, I have love for you. What should I do? He boosted my confidence. He's like my shoulder when I need advice, and he's basically a big support system. The last time he broke things off with me, now he won't respond to any of my messages or answer my calls. And I recently did a pop-up he was home and did not answer the door which he usually does should I, should I take this as a hint that it's really over he did make it clear in the beginning that he did not want a relationship but seriously after a year and a half still nothing I seen him once a week during hold on I seen him once a week due to work schedules but we talked daily throughout the week should I give up or keep trying y'all are like my big sisters please help might I add this the sex is wonderful he's the first person I've ever felt comfortable with fully in the bedroom so much that I ate his ass I feel like somewhere we lost the sparks and now it's just arguments and very good makeup sex but this the but this last time seemed like it's really over should I give up I'm conflicted girl how old you think we are I'm talking about we are big sisters I mean we're Older than her. She's only 20. I thought she said she's 28. No, she met him. Oh, I was about to say, yeah. dang, girl, hold on. I'm you dead. Out. People always be in the comments like, hey, Auntie Les. They always how old do they think you are? I mean, a lot of our listeners are young, Drea. Like, they're young. Well, I guess 20 is. Yeah, that is. 20. We, we could be your big sister. Yeah, that's what I say. So, this is my thing, sis. First of all, it's a big age difference between y'all. Yeah. Nine years difference is a big age difference. One. And for him, 29... A man at 29, they are not even close to where they're going to be as far as maturation, like being mature and their maturity level. Mm -hmm. So you have to realize, even though he might be mature to you, 29 for a man is very immature as far as knowing what they want. Yeah. This man does not know what he wants. Trust me. He, yes, he's very old compared to you. But in reality, I mean, this man is very young and he doesn't know what the fuck he wants, girl. Yeah. So I feel like you're young. You don't even know what you want. 
the men that you're attracted to right now is not going to be the same type of man you're attracted to when you're 25. Girl, you and that's, just started dating. You 20. That's what I'm saying. And that's not going to be the same type of man you're attracted to at 30. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. I would just move on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing pop-ups at his house. I feel like once you get to that point of relationship, it's like you need to step back because it's starting to become toxic. Right. So I feel like if you feel like you have to pop up And if he's not answering your calls and stuff, like if he told you that it's over and then he's not answering your calls, Especially it's over. if you do a pop up and he not answering the door, he just really just didn't want to see you. You know what I'm saying? And I hate yeah. to be, I hate to be so harsh. It does sound harsh, but it's just the the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, Sometimes believe y'all a man. Need tough love, but you have to believe a man when he tells you things, especially when because a lot of times men will lie because they don't want to hurt your feelings. But when they get to that point to where they're like, "Fuck it, I gotta tell this girl the truth." Once they start telling you, like, hey, I don't want to be with you. I don't like this. This is over. You need to really believe them. When they tell you they don't want a relationship, believe them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because at that point, they not lying. And we all know niggas love to lie. So once they, they start do. once they start getting to the point to where they don't care and they just telling you how they honestly feel, you just need to believe them. And like I said, you're a young girl. You're going to look back at this shit and laugh, okay? And it's just, yeah, it's like, come on, y'all. Like, when y'all be, like, 20 to, like, 20, I'll say, like, 20 to, like, 24. Hell, even 25, it's like, live your life. Date, Date have a fun. lot of people. Have fun. You're young as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you. Why are y'all? Why do y'all be in such a rush to be so serious with people? Sometimes, right. sometimes shit is meant to be exactly what it is. Right in that moment, and yes. you you got to close that chapter and move on. Yes, and just go date somebody else. And like I always say, y'all be so scared to leave niggas alone. I don't understand that right. neither because I will leave a nigga alone in a heartbeat. Because if a nigga really want me, he gonna apply pressure to get me back. Right. I agree. I agree. If a nigga really want, like, if you leave, if you're not happy in a situation and you leave a dude alone and he want you back, he's gonna apply pressure to get you back. And my favorite thing to do is to turn the tables. So if a nigga doing something that I don't like or he try to cut me off or whatever he think he doing, okay, you not talking to me, bitch. I'm not talking talking to to you. you. And once he figure out, oh, shit, she not talking to me, Niggas love to chase. Yep, they do. Once you start ignoring a nigga and doing him bad, they gonna be fucking crawling at your fucking No feet. matter how long y'all been talking. Exactly. So just ignore that nigga, girl. He'll yes. come back. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So, yes. Uh, do we, we? That was the last question, right? I think so. I think that was the fourth question. Girl, right? I don't know. Wait, let me make sure. Hold on. Oh, you deleted one Sorry. of them already. It's okay. Oh, no, you didn't win. Hmm. I think that was four. Are you sure? I don't fuck. That was four, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, yeah, cut that shit off. (laughs) Okay, so thank y'all so much for tuning in. Now, what you singing? Oh, I forgot. See how she do, y'all? See how she do, y'all? Dre doesn't want me to sing this. What? What song is it? You know what I told you I was singing because I've been singing this song. Oh, fuck it. I don't think my phone is working. For some reason, I don't have service in here. Frozen? I mean, is it like... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You need to start playing the... Uh, the um, instrumental the in the instrumental, background. The instrumental, yeah. I don't know. Why, why my dumb ass is about to say the musical? So, the reason <laughs> that I want to sing this song is because a lot of y'all be in the comments being mean to us, trolling us, <laughs> bullying us. And I just need y'all to understand that me and Drea... We gotta hold hands. We're just ordinary people. Yeah. That's how he's saying. You gotta say add the yeah at the end. Oh. We don't know which way to go. Yeah. Go. Cause we're ordinary people. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should take it slow. Take it slow. Oh. 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 This time we'll take it. Yeah. It's slow, yeah. Take it All right. slow. <laughs> What's the part? Maybe we'll live and learn. Maybe we'll crush and burn. Maybe we'll grow. We'll never know, baby. You and I. <laughs> did that. I, I shocked myself. You did that. Why does y'all legend do that? Things you did. That. Do you notice that he does that? What? He adds a yeah at the end of everything. No, he does yeah. not. Yeah. He sound, you sound like yeah, Trey songs. Yeah. <laughs> you just want me to do the Trey songs again, and I'm not doing it. 
I do. <laughs> I'm not doing the Trey songs again. Fine. We're just on the every people. How you gonna end it? Like this. You gotta go out with a bang. I'm trying to if you would shut the hell up. Yeah. I really thought you was done because we started talking and you started singing. Take again. it slow, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. This time we'll take it. Yeah. It's slow, yeah. <laughs> That was fucking terrible. That's what he does. That was a terrible ending. That's what he does. That is not what John Legend did. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye. He does sing like that. Girl, hello. <laughs> Are we recording?